We got a regular Tuesday morning, but we got a little added fun. We're going to the vehicle lab today, so it's a it's a good day. The latest United Nations report on climate change is out, and it is grim. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, once again makes clear that the world needs to act now to save the planet from the worst effects of global warming. Emissions of all kinds. It's somewhat disheartening, but I think the main takeaway for me is it's on us. No one else is going to magically make this happen. And so we have a role at a large corporation. We can't wait. Um, we need to solve it uh, irrespective of what's happening around us. Amazon just announced the Climate Pledge, a new campaign to combat the climate crisis. Jeff Bezos revealed yesterday a plan to make Amazon carbon neutral by 2040. We essentially went to every major auto manufacturer in the world and said, this is what we need out of an electric delivery vehicle. And we got a lot of answers about why that wasn't possible. Amazon has ordered 100,000 electric delivery vans from US-based auto manufacturer Rivian. You're asking an entire industry to sort of shift what they make, how they do product design, who they employ, like on every level, on the vehicle level, on the infrastructure, organizationally, culturally, like all of that needs to shift. Rivian was one of the earliest signers of the Climate Pledge. Our goal is to put thousands of electric delivery vans on the road starting in 2022, putting at least 100,000 on the road by 2030. When was the last time you saw the van? It's probably been a year now. You're doing some user studies with yeah. packages and boxes where you could take things out. Yeah. So this is really great. There's no playbook for any of this. Nobody is electrified a fleet of delivery vans at this scale. We haven't honestly done that much in the supply chain space. I think there's a huge opportunity to reduce CO2 emissions from goods transport. So as a percentage? 30% of CO2 emissions from transportation. 30% of that is from the supply chain. 30% of that is the last mile. At Amazon, last mile is taking a package from our last physical delivery stations and transporting the packages to the customer. In 2018, I started leading our global last mile vehicle fleet, and we had no electric vehicles. Bringing a van from sketch to full-scale production in two to three years is a pretty crazy challenge, and a lot of people thought Amazon and Rivian for nuts for signing up for it. When we're operating these electric delivery vans at scale, we'll be preventing millions of metric tons per year of carbon emissions. This is our way of removing that CO2 from getting into the environment, into the neighborhoods, into the atmosphere, and electrification is the way we're going to do it. The beauty of gas vehicles is that infrastructure has been around for a century. For us, the challenge has been bringing up the entire ecosystem. We have to take hundreds of physical locations and make them electric ready. When we started this journey, there really wasn't a product for fleets from a charging standpoint. So I lead the design team. Our design team works on site designs. We figure out how to get chargers electrified. Imagine you go into any parking lot you can imagine today figure out how to get chargers deployed in that parking lot with absolutely no existing infrastructure. So there's probably not a utility, there's probably not a power line, and there's no chargers. Is the cable here, is there any difference between what we put below ground and, and above ground? What we're doing above ground today, you're it's using more of this, this. wire. The challenge we're dealing with is there are very few places that have put in the number of chargers that we're putting in. When you talk about 3,000 vehicles or 5,000 vehicles, that's a big number, and that would be a big fleet. But when you go to 100,000, you've got to do things differently. How do we get to that 100,000 chargers? And designing the infrastructure is the problem we're trying to solve. Are we trying to get it down to there is one above ground solution, or do we select for three options depending on the site characteristics? I lean towards the latter. OK. This is probably the most vans charging at the same time there's 100 on, that means like the system's handling 100 at a time. It's 2022 and we're delivering a major project with signatories from the Climate Pledge. I mean, if you look at these, the chargers have a profile that works for vans, but by and large, these are meant for residential applications. And you know, we're standing here with 100 vans plugged in, and a year ago, we hadn't even figured out what the layout was gonna look like.
actual data to come back. And like, these are like, the, this is the first step. As we look at the challenges in front of us uh, with regards to our climate crisis, it's so important that we as society find opportunities like this to collaborate. <laughs> There's zero debate that we as society, if we want to live the way we live today, hundreds of years from now, thousands of years from now, we must move to renewable energy sources. So accelerating that represents, I think, the only responsible thing we can do as a planet. And if we choose not to do that, we're rolling the dice. So of course, I'm an optimist, so I think we can make that change. And it's, it's the reason I started Rivian. It's the reason the Climate Pledge is so important. There are multiple really hard problems on the path to decarbonization. The greater we can work together and forge partnerships to accelerate these solutions, that's the opportunity that the Climate Pledge represents to me. We go into it knowing that there are things that we're going to learn as we do this, and we have some great momentum with the industry today that we can reach out to partners to say, let's do this, help us do this.